بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said is narrated in in uh, Tirmidhi he said a true believer does not taunt or curse or abuse or talk indecently هبت في الله we see this hadith as many of the ahadith of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم regarding how the Muslim should conduct his or herself. That the Muslim and the Muslima should be cautious in how they use their tongue. As the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam said, that there is nothing greater that will cause the Muslim to be thrown in the hellfire than his tongue. That the tongue is severe. It's severe as a witness against you and severe as a witness uh, for you. That it if you use your tongue for the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for good righteous speech <clears throat> and praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being kind and gentle towards the people, uh, praising the people and showing respectful speech, then you'll be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then you'll receive the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the immense favor and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you use it for immorality, for cursing, for slander, for lying, for backbiting, then in fact you will find a painful torment in this life as well as the next. And one of the evidences that we see for this is that one of the causes for the torment of the grave is people having wicked uh, slander speech. You know, speaking about others in order to spread wickedness throughout the Muslim community. So speaking about sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so in order to spread facade, in order to spread wickedness, shar. And we know this because the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, or it was mentioned that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, marra nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala qabarain faqal, innahum li yu'adhiban wa ma yu'adhiban fi kabir. So the Prophet ﷺ was uh, walking by some graves. And he mentioned, he said, He said, Verily, they're being punished. And they're being punished for something which the people don't think is great. You know, so people don't think it's a big deal because it's so common. And then he said, He said, and as for one of them, or the first of them, one of them, he said, that this person used to not clean, cleanse himself when they cleanse themselves properly when they uh, went to the bathroom at Karamakum Allah. Meaning that either they did not make a stinja aslan to clean their private parts when they urinated or that they were messy when they urinated and it splashed and it got all over their clothing. So we find that that means that that is one of the causes for the torment of the grave. And then he said, He said, as for the second one, that this one used to spread tales around the community, spreading wickedness around the community, you know, with the, with the intent to spread wickedness. So that is Dalil Habatifillah, that spreading wickedness through the tongue is a cause for a person to be punished in the grave. And that also affirms for us that there is a torment in the grave, according to the Quran and the Sunnah. However, Ahl Bid'ah don't believe in that. So <clears throat> it's very important Habit that we know and we understand that and we're cautious with our tongues. And that the Muslim, the true believer, is the one who's cautious with his or her tongue in how they speak about others and what they speak about and how they speak. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many many shortcomings and our many sins, our many sins of the tongue and the limbs. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, 
وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم